United States. It's an opportunity to be here today to allow the President-elect to take your questions. Uh, after the President-elect makes some remarks, he will introduce uh, Ms. Sherry Dillon, a prominent attorney in Washington, D.C., with the prestigious firm of Morgan Lewis, who, will, who structured the agreements pursuant to the President's business arrangements, and she will give brief remarks. Before we start, I want to bring your attention to a few points on the report that was published in BuzzFeed last night. It's frankly outrageous and highly irresponsible for a left-wing blog that was openly hostile to the President-elect's campaign to drop highly salacious and flat-out false information on the Internet just days before he takes the oath of office. According to BuzzFeed's own editor, there are some serious reasons to doubt the allegations in the report. The executive editor of the New York Times also dismissed the report by saying it was, quote, totally unsubstantiated, echoing the concerns that many other reporters expressed on the Internet. The fact that BuzzFeed and CNN made the decision to run with this unsubstantiated claim is a sad and pathetic attempt to get clicks. The report is not an intelligence report, plain and simple. One issue that the report talked about was the relationship of three individuals associated with the campaign. These three individuals, Paul Manafort, Michael Cohen, and Carter Page. Carter Page is an individual who the President-elect does not know and was put on notice months ago by the campaign. Paul Manafort has adamantly denied any of this involvement, and Michael Cohen, who is said to have visited Prague in August and September, did not leave or enter the United States during this time. We asked him to produce his passport to confirm his whereabouts on the dates in question, and there was no doubt that he was not in Prague. In fact, Mr. Cohen has never been in Prague. A new report actually suggests that Michael Cohen was at the, at the University of Southern California with his son at a baseball game. One report now suggests that apparently it's another Michael Cohen. For all the talk lately about fake news, this political witch hunt by some in the media is based on some of the most flimsy reporting and it's frankly shameful and disgraceful. With that, it is my honor to introduce the next Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence.